gender is uh, socially constructed structure that we bring together men and women to discuss, to look at equity of access to resources, access to knowledge, so that we can achieve a sustainable development. Now, this workshop, we call it Strategic Workshop for the Gender Task Force. We need to pay more attention to gender in agricultural research. The purpose of this workshop is to develop strategies to mainstream gender in the GRISP and this requires uh, collaboration with the Gender Task Force. Interestingly, that uh, Africa Rice has been uh, has, has initiated or organized this gender task force as a mechanism to implement this uh, gender strategy and other uh, programs uh, under GRIS. And uh, as you know, there are out of this uh, there are 14 countries representing this gender task force, and two of them are men. So it is uh, good that men are also represented in this gender task force. And this is also an opportunity to link uh, uh, other projects, for example, like the Strasa project, which uh, developed, it, wherein we, they, the scientists have developed uh, stress tolerant varieties and to ensure that these varieties reach the vulnerable, particularly the women. So this is an opportunity to use these uh, varieties or to train women in the production of quality seeds of stress-tolerant varieties. That women and men should work together, making uh, their difference, but you know, like uh, making women powerful by knowledge, by capacity building, by empowerment, by information. So we'll make it, you know, like uh, equal to the men in terms of opportunities, not in terms of biological, difference but in terms of opportunities and we can use these opportunities wisely so to be more productive and then you know like uh, to also you know like uh, treat because if you look at you know most of the, the, the households in Africa are mainly supported by women any country any community can to move you know without women and women are really important they need really to have access to opportunities yeah. Je trouve que c'est quelque chose de très intéressant et de très important parce que ça fait des années que nous parlons du genre, nous qui sommes vraiment intéressés à ce concept-là. Nous en parlons, mais chaque fois, c'est toujours des problèmes pour le faire accepter, même par nos autorités des fois. Or, nous sommes dans des instituts de recherche et si les technologies sont développées sans souci du genre, Et ensuite, au niveau des vulgarisateurs, sont intégrés aussi sans souci de genre, risque d'avoir des faibles taux d'adoption de cette technologie-là. Et c'est ce qui arrive justement. Lorsque l'on fait des études d'adoption, on se rend compte que les taux sont faibles. Mais très rarement, l'on trouve que les causes sont le fait que peut-être l'on n'a pas fait tout ceci avec le souci de genre. Or, la société n'est pas homogène. La société est bien genrée, est bien découpée en catégories sociales. Et les hommes et les femmes n'ont pas les mêmes contraintes, n'ont pas les mêmes besoins. Et on, la, le, les résultats, de toute façon, ont déjà montré que les femmes ont très peu accès aux ressources de production, aux bénéfices, et ont donc besoin d'être un peu plus renforcées. Whatever thing they are doing, from the breeders, the agronomy, the technology they are developing, they should look at women how they can well integrate women. Though there's always the cry that, oh, women are always crying about women. women. Yeah, it's because most of the time they develop technology, they don't think about the application to women. Like in Cameroon in particular, <coughs> the parboiling system that is developed in Cameroon is so cumbersome. So women in Cameroon don't do parboiling. But me were here in, in, uh, uh, in West Africa, in Benin, and other the uh, Ivory Coast and the rest, probably mostly done by women because the equipment are adapted to, to their use, they can easily transport it. So with this gender tax force, we we'll get into gender activity and rice production, transfer technology from one area to other, 
that are suited to table for women. What each uh, country team did before coming here, we are 14 in total, was to prepare national reports on uh, the current situation on gender mainstreaming in agricultural research and in uh, rice research particularly. So we started the workshop by having each country review the current situation uh, and from there on we could identify a lot of uh, common uh, constraints for uh, particular women farmers uh, in the rice value chain uh, at the moment, which we now hope to be able to address uh, over the coming years. Um, we want to be able to tap into the current uh, Africa rice research projects that already are up and running and see how we can strengthen the gender uh, component in those. Uh, at the same time as we now uh, are aspiring to put together our own research project and uh, apply for funding from appropriate uh, sources as time goes by. Il faudra dire que uh, compte tenu des ressources disponibles, cette recherche va être seulement conduite dans quatre pays. Les quatre pays vont uh, travailler sur ce sujet et puis on verra comment étendre les résultats au niveau des autres pays. Et également, il y a des projets qui sont déjà en cours dans les pays. Donc nous avons voulu que ce groupe composé de points focaux commence déjà par voir comment relever des sujets relatifs aux gens dans les projets qui sont en cours dans leur pays ou même dans les données qu'on avait déjà collectées sans toutefois bien prendre en compte l'aspect genre. Donc, au départ d'ici, chaque point focal a de la matière pour travailler.